Welcome to the Geeks Attic. It's time for a novelization book haul. It should be clear by now that I like to collect movie novelizations here at the Geeks Attic. I like to show you what novelizations I've recently picked up. Me and a couple other guys started a book club, Paper Movies, the novelization book club. We like to pick a novelization one month, we'll read it, and at the end of the month, we'll talk about it. And then we'll continue on with the next month with something else. Go check it out. Paper Movies, YouTube channel. It's great. We've got a Goodreads channel now. So guys, let's go ahead and show you some novelizations that I recently picked up. First, I want to show you a novel by Richard Woodley, Con Air. Yeah, based on the screenplay by Scott Rosenberg. It's now a major motion picture from Touchstone Pictures. And this novelization does have screenshots from the film. They're all black and white. I remember seeing this movie. I, I really enjoyed it. It has Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, and John Malkovich. Glad I was able to find this novelization. Up next, we've got A Journey That Begins Where Everything Ends, and it's now a spectacular motion picture from Walt Disney Productions, an Alan Dean Foster novel, The Black Hole. It's uh, based on the screenplay by Jeb Rosebrook and Gary Day. So you got a Disney film, The Black Hole. Have not seen it. And there are no photos on the inside of this. So, yep, The Black Hole, very good condition for only a dollar. So, pretty sweet. With this next one, I had to make a donation over at the Goodwill and thought, you know what, I'm going to go see what books they have. And luckily I found this one. People can make the argument, I guess, that maybe it's not a novelization, but it says on the cover, Now a Major Motion Picture, Sea Biscuit, an American Legend by Laura Hillenbrad. And yeah, I, it also has like movie credit stuff on the bottom, so if this is not an actual novelization, it's still going on the novelization shelf because it's got the movie poster on there. And, uh, you know, now a major motion picture. So that's going to stay with the novelizations, whether you disagree with it or not. <laughs> this next one, I picked it up because, well, the bookstore really didn't have many uh, options. And the cover looks like the poster of a B-film. I've never heard of this movie, and I don't know anybody who has heard of it. If you have, comment down below. I'd like to know. But that would be Enemy Mine. It says, Soldiers bred for combat. One human, one alien. They faced the ultimate battle. It's a novel by Barry B. Longyear and David Gerald. Probably Gerald, but spelled weird. Uh, from the screenplay by Edward Kamar, based on the story by Barry Longyear. Yeah, I butcher names here all the time. But yeah, that's, that's it. Enemy Mine. It does not have photos on the inside here either, but it's a 20th Century Fox film. So that's interesting. I've got to look up this movie trailer now just looks so bad. There are no screenshots in the book. It's a 20th Century Fox film, uh, but yeah, that cover just, doesn't that scream B-film poster? Interesting. Might need to read this one pretty soon. All right, guys, it's time to show you the one that I'm most excited about, the last book in the hall. It was a gift from Adam, from Bryant VRM. He's one of the hosts and co-founders of the Paper Movies Novelization Book Club. Thank you so much, Adam, for this book. It's awesome. The motion picture event of the year, a universal film starring Dennis Quaid and featuring the voice of Sean Connery. We have Dragonheart. How cool is that? Such an ugly cover. Uh, by Charles Edward Pogue, based on his screenplay. So happy that I have this now. Uh, thank you so much, Adam. Uh, no photos in the book. Somewhat of a disappointment with these things. But, you know, it's one of those things that's like, oh yeah, it'd be nice to have photos, but it also would not be nice to have the photos because they put them in the most awkward spots, which we've had discussions about that on the channel before. Uh, it's like it'll just stop mid-sentence and show you spoiler photos. You're like, oh, no. But anyway, that's it for this haul, guys. We've got Dragonheart. Awesome to have that. We have Enemy Mine, Sea Biscuit, Black Hole, and Con Air. I'm happy with the haul. You know, minus Sea Biscuit. I could care less about Sea Biscuit, honestly. I mean, if it really... I might do some more research with the whole thing and see if it is a novelization or not, because that's that's a pretty thick book. That's a lot of a lot of shelf space, you know. When you think about it, all these and I mean that's that's over two books thick when it comes to the average novelization. So I don't know. I'll see. I might might take it back up to the used bookstore and sell it, and, you know, get a quarter or a nickel off of it. But I'm very happy with that. Conair. Very good find, and I'm thrilled to have Dragonheart. So cool. So remember to check me out across all social media at the Geeks Attic. Have a good one.